This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so Canelo Alvarez had his homecoming in his home country of Mexico. It's been a long time since he fought in Mexico, where he defended his undisputed super middleweight world titles against his mandatory challenger in John Ryder from the UK. Now, I knew this, a lot of you knew this as well, that John Ryder was always going to be a tough fight for anybody. It's going to be a tough fight for Canelo, even in the Dragon's Pit. That was a very, very pro-Mexican crowd. Very, very pro-Canelo crowd, I should say. And John Ryder didn't wilt at all. He got his nose broken in round number two. He got dropped by a straight right hand down the pipe in round number five. And he took a bit of a beating, especially in, the, um, I mean, in those early rounds. And in the second half of the fight, was really, really trading with Canelo. He's telling him, come on, let's go, let's go. And I think a lot of Mexican fans who maybe didn't know John Ryder beforehand will wake up on Sunday with a newfound respect for John Ryder. And I said this when the fight was announced. I did a video here on this channel saying that if anybody deserved a shot at Colonel Alvarez, i.e. the payday and the world title shot, it's John Ryder. He's been the away fighter. He's been in the away corner. He's, he's taken the tough fights. He has. And he finally got his opportunity. And he delivered. He went in there and gave everything that he could. He soaked up an a, 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 an excruciating amount of punishment at times. You could just see his face after the fight, his nose and all that kind of stuff. But he's done me and a lot of Brits very, very proud. And I'm sure boxing fans in general are very proud. I know some people out there who maybe didn't know John Ryder will say that uh, Colonel Alvarez is just a cherry pick and skate over the fact that um, he was his mandatory because they, they don't really know John Ryder. Unfortunately, some people, they'll stick to like their own demographic and don't look too much outside of it. So they may have heard the name John Ryder, but maybe never really watched him more than once. But John Ryder is a tough man, and he seems to be getting better as time goes on. His early part of his career with uh, certain fights, okay, didn't, didn't really go as well of uh, his way, and he got jobbed on a couple of occasions. But the fact that he was trading with Canelo Alvarez, he went all Mexican style at times <laughs> with Canelo. And Canelo seemed to like that. The crowd certainly seemed to like that. And hopefully now a lot of people want to say, oh, he was just a cherry pick and whatever else. No, John Ryder deserved his opportunity. He really did. John Ryder's a very, very good fighter, very, very tough man. He really is. He's done it the hard way. He weren't just somebody who made a name for himself on social media and got an opportunity because of his popularity. No, no, he's not really one for social media, really. He doesn't do clown videos. He doesn't mess around. He doesn't call people out um, without the intention of fighting them and all that kind of stuff. He will literally go to the away corner and do what he has to do. That's something that John Ryder's always done. And the fact that he was giving Canelo Alvarez hell, and I'm sure Canelo Alvarez wanted to get him out of there. I'm sure he tried to get him out of there. He did. He was throwing some big, big shots, and John Ryder was just eating them up at times. Okay, he got dropped in round number five, but it is what it is. But the toughness of John Ryder would have earned him a lot of fans, would have earned him, not just here in the UK, because obviously we know John Ryder, but outside the UK, maybe people who didn't really know him beforehand, who were maybe criticising him. Listen, I'm sure a lot of people will still criticise him, maybe because they don't like Canelo. They want any 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 old excuse. They'll say Canelo's faded. Um, he went the distance with a bum. and all. These people don't know boxing. That's a reality. They don't know it. Okay, But John done very well. He's done very, very well. But of course, it was a one-sided victory for Canelo. Um, I thought one of the scorecards was pretty wide. Was it 120-107? Something like that. It was ridiculously wide. But hey, at the end of the day, the right man won. won. That's the only thing, isn't it? That's the only thing that's really important. Did the right man get his hand raised? Yeah, Canelo Alvarez, of course. And is Canelo ready for Bivol? Maybe. Maybe. Now, Canelo, he did start off quite slow. Um, it appeared in his post-fight um, interview in the ring where he was talking about um, he wasn't too confident about his hand. He's uh, just come off a hand surgery and he's a little bit apprehensive about throwing it in those uh, smaller gloves and what have you. But after the first couple of rounds were out of the way, he felt com comfortable and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, it was a entertaining fight. People like blood, sweat and tears and that's exactly what you got. He didn't get a knockout, but John Ryder is, listen, he deserves another crack at a big name. Not a rematch with Canelo, but a big name. He does. Will it be a middleweight? Will it be a super middleweight? Either one. Either one. Of course, he's from the matchroom gym, uh, trained by um, Tony Sims and that. So 
he's always in good company. He's always going to have good spa. They're very, very fit in that gym. And John Ryder, maybe that was part of the tactics was to try and get Canelo Alvarez to go down the stretch to see if he starts to fade a little bit. And I think Canelo did fade a little bit. He was starting to get tired. And as he was getting tired, John Ryder was rising his game a little bit and was throwing back. And it was very entertaining. It was. The scorecards were very one-sided. You could say maybe rightfully so. But it's not like John Ryder didn't do anything. He, he, he wasn't just a punching bag in that fight. Okay? He was throwing leather himself. Okay, so anyway, I enjoyed it. Um, it was a predictable result. Um, I thought that uh, Canelo was going to win. I didn't know if it would be, be by stoppage or points, but of course I felt that, that he was always going to win. But John Ryder is tough. Very, very tough. So hopefully a lot of people who didn't really know too much about John Ryder beforehand give him a little bit more respect now. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.